So you thought you knew APUs, huh? Well, you haven't seen these yet. Mostly because they aren't out yet, but here's some benchmarks. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things gaming hardware news and reviews. Okay, I know many of you have been waiting for desktop versions of AMD's Raven Ray GPUs based on Ryzen's architecture coupled with an integrated Vega GPU. Well, it's right around the corner, and we're finally getting third-party benchmarks. So originally posted by MoPC.net, if these benchmarks are accurate, we could be looking at a couple pretty impressive APUs here. The tests were done in 3D Mark, and as you can see, the Ryzen 5 2400G APU with Vega 11 outperforms both the discrete GT1030 and MX150, while even getting close to the desktop RX 550. And remember that the RX 550 is over $150 itself, while the 2400G is only $169. One thing that I think is really interesting is how it competes with the Ryzen 7 2700U's Vega 10 with 10 compute units. It's actually pretty close, which is impressive considering the 2700U is a TDP of 15 watts and the 2400G is at 65. With that said, I have heard the CPUs in these desktop APUs are pretty impressive and very much comparable to their full Ryzen desktop counterparts, so that could easily explain the jump in TDP. But okay, back to the benchmarks. AMD's second desktop APU, the Ryzen 3 2200G with Vega 8, and you guessed it, 8 compute units, is also impressive in its own right. While not quite at the discrete MX150 level, you have to remember the 2200G is only $99, and it annihilates Intel's UHD 620 at about two and a half times the performance. Lastly, you might notice the random Vega MGL at the top of the stack here. Well, yeah, um, that's the integrated GPU in Intel's newest mobile chips. Now, we do not know for sure how legitimate these benchmarks are, but they do coincide with about what we would expect from most of these chips. Well, yeah, as you can see, the mobile multi-chip module beats out the very respectable 1050Ti, and these are chips supposedly intended for ultra-thin and light notebooks. Of course, they aren't going to be cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but the possibility would be nice given it can maintain this performance in a small form factor. So while I know this was a pretty short video, what did you think of the news? Excited at the possibility of some serious gaming on a laptop that isn't the size of a full PC? Or do you just want a decent gaming chip at a great price for your small form factor PC? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.